Welcome to Women of Color TV, also known as Walk TV, and I'm your host, Marsha Jews, and I'm here with Quit from Ebony Peak from Quitman, Georgia. How you doing, Ebony? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Wonderful. So tell us now, how did you get here? Um, well, I started working in the warehouse industry uh, when I was 18 years old, and I'm 30 now, so I've been in the industry for a long time, a little over 12 years. And so what do you do with the warehouse? Right now, I'm currently a team lead at Dirla Tire. Um, with that being said, I'm, I'm over the shipping department, also help out with the receiving department. Uh, so I do a lot of different things with the technology side, make sure everything gets going out and everything with the distribution center. So a lot of different things. Inside of so you have to do equipment audits? and Yes, ma'am. I have to do equipment audits. Uh, I have to train. I have to get people ready, uh, make sure everything comes in, everything ships out. And um, with the company that I work with, we distribute tires to dealerships across the world. Oh, that's a little tiny business, right? Really? My DC is currently in Duluth, Georgia, which is in Atlanta. Um, but we just scribble tires from Tennessee to Jersey to Florida, all across the United States. So in shipping, you're actually using trucks or airlines, or how are they moving that equipment? everything with trucks um we use forklifts and everything to move everything around the warehouse but we ship things out on trucks um we do local deliveries and then we ship things out for trucks that go across the road and everything for us as well so you're saying you're doing this all around the world that's a huge inventory what kind of numbers are we talking about yes ma'am um currently at my warehouse uh we can average anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 tires ship out a day um, with our company, because we have so many across the um, globe, each warehouse is different. Um, one of our biggest ones, I think, is currently in California, and they can ship out about 5,000 tires a day. So are we now talking about big tires that would go on diesel trucks? We're talking about tires all the way down to your spare tire from a little Toyota all the way to a big Ford F-150, any size tires. We ship What's an F-150? A truck. A truck. Okay, I don't know about it. She just asked me like I don't what's supposed to know of F one fifty. I don't know what that is. I'm almost a hundred. You talk about it. So so when you start talking about shipping, so I'm a real nosy person. But the the tires get made somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Where are they being made? I honestly don't know. Okay, yeah. okay, so I, somebody I makes them. Yeah, we, our warehouse, like, we store them, we receive them in, um, they come to us from other companies like Goodyear, Bridgestone, okay. uh, Michelin, Continental, all the tires come into us, we receive them in, and then when the companies order them, we ship them back out. See, and I never even knew that there was that type of corporate environment, that you would, that, that a, there's a huge multi-million dollar Sound like multi billion dollar. Yes, ma'am. We actually, um, last year we had two billion sales. Two billion in sales shipping yes, tires all over the world. Yes, what? Yes, we had two billion sales. Uh, I before I went to that company, I didn't know a company like that exists either. And then it's like you would be surprised you go to a regular dealership to buy a car that we're the company that actually shipping them the tires. So, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. So, so what? One day you walked into a tire shop. Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I worked in so many um different warehouses, and um the last warehouse that I was working at was with Floor and Decor, and I was a warehouse supervisor there, and I was ready to move up to another position. So I just started applying for different jobs, and then when I went there, I knew nothing about tires <laughs> when I got there. But they they teach you everything you need to know. Um, they gave me all the training in the background I needed, and, and now. I could tell you the different sizes from a spare tire to an actual tire that you would need on the car. So it's a, it's a great company. See, we don't really know these things. Yeah. You know, I mean, really, yeah. th this is a, a two billion, multi billion dollar corporation. Yes, and so they have locations for distribution centers yeah, in different locations. Yeah, they have different distribution centers. Like we're in Duluth, Georgia, which is in Atlanta. And we also have, uh, like I said, we have them in California. We have them in New Jersey. We have different ones in Florida. We have different ones in um, Texas. Like they're, they're everywhere. A lot of distribution centers. So how did you get into this business? 
Well, I started working in the warehouses. I started, like I say, when I was 18. So I started off with uh, Lowe's. And it's just like the warehouse industry, for some reason, it was just so interesting to me. And um, being a woman, you don't see that many women in the warehouse. So I wanted to stay with something different. I didn't want to do the norm that every woman does. So once I just got in it, it's just, it's like it sucks you in. You can't get out. You, like, you just stay in it. And, and like I say, it's a, it's a great job to have. Um, the warehouse industry can really take people further than they really know that it can. Well, clearly, because yes. you know that you didn't even realize that it was a two billion dollar business. That's real. Yeah, I did. So, so when you look at uh, long term now, you've already done several jobs yes, within that organization yes, to get you to where you are. And what's the next level? Where are you going? Yeah, well, I'm trying to move up to the assistant manager of the distribution center, so I can be the, the, the next boss. You know, um, the assistant manager they help the distribution center manager run the warehouse. So mm -hmm. that's my next level that I'm trying to get to. Um, I'm working and I'm training with my leaders that I have right now, and hopefully one day I, I can get there as well. I I love it. This is exciting. I've never heard of this. So you all have to forgive me if I sound crazy, but it's wonderful. You know, there's so many businesses that people get into that we don't know all of them. I've never heard of this. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's like I say, Dilla Tire, before I started this company, I never heard of it. Um, but it's a great company to work for. And like I say, we probably literally could go out the door right now and we could see a dealership, a uh, Toyota dealership or something. And I guarantee you, we're giving them the tires for those cars. Mm -hmm. So when we look at where we are now, and you're, you're moving, you're matriculating, you're doing all the things that you want to, and you become this manager, how do you bring in and recruit young people yes, to be part of this program? Yes, ma'am. Well, currently, right now, um, I do have uh, one of my associates. They when. Everybody starts off as a...